So welcome back to my channel. Uh, Sebastian Fortune here. Um, I just installed my very first mod and that mod is the Pedal Commander. There's a video on Sling Mod that goes through the details on how to um, install uh, this device. Uh, but it was quite simple. It only took a few minutes. The first thing I did of course was attach the, the brackets upon which I will be in attaching the Pedal Commander. This took a few minutes, maybe four or five minutes at most uh, to install that. Then the next step um, was to, to lift the seat, the seat and of course you turn the key um, clockwise, you pop the seat, that gives, um, it exposes this section here. So you pull this up which helps to detach this plastic panel from the right side of my RT Limited. Um, after which I was able to access the, the connector, the actual um, um, throttle uh, connector. The throttle connector I disconnected from the factory um, interface and I connected the pedal commander the female end of the pedal commander to the male end of the factory system and of course the male end of the pedal commander to the female end of the factory system essentially bridging the factory system and forcing the signal to be routed or directed through the pedal commander which gives us the flexibility that we need in adjusting the throttle response um, after that I replaced the uh, plastic panel replaced the, uh, the speaker uh, protection uh, cover and then I adhere with the Velcro tape that was given to me, the pedal commander to the bracket that I installed earlier. Like I said, there's a much better video uh, on slingmod, uh, slingmods.com, which goes into great detail on how to install this, this mod. Um, it wasn't very, very difficult at all. Uh, in fact, now I will get the opportunity to test the, the responsiveness of the different uh, modes that the throttle, um, the pedal commander uh, offers. And then I will see exactly if it is giving me <laughs> the bang for my buck. I'm quite excited about uh, testing this mod out. So let's wait and see how it feels. Um, <laughs> this is the first modification I've done to my Can-Am. As you can tell by my voice, I'm really, really excited to see um, how um, it responds. Now I have to learn how to configure this pedal commander to interface with my Bluetooth, my um, Android phone system so that I can manage and control it from the phone system as well. Anyway, um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and play around with this for a little while and then I will continue on with this uh, video. Okay, so the, um, the system is running. Um, everything seems to be, uh, well, first of all, let's, let's go through uh, some basic operation. So the yellow button in the middle, it turns it on. It turns the uh, pedal commander on. Now, press it again, it changed the modes. City, Sport, Sport Plus. Press it again, it turns it off. Press it again, it turns it on. Notice it never went to echo mode, right? Press it again, sport mode, sport plus, once more, it turns it off. In order to access eco mode, you have to hold it down. And then you have access to eco mode. Now, eco mode is not something that I think you want to, I guess this gives you the, um, I guess the ability not to accidentally press into eco mode. Eco mode is something that you have to make a, a firm decision to go into because of how the throttle response is uh, in eco mode. I will test every single one of the modes and I will give feedback back to the, the uh, channel. Also, in addition to the, the four modes at the top, you have different levels for each mode. So for example, in city mode, you can have a plus one, a plus two, a plus three or a plus four that increases the aggressiveness or the responsiveness of that specific mode the same thing for sport mode you have the flexibility to adjust the responsiveness 
of each of these modes. So I haven't um, I haven't tested any of these modes yet. I just wanted to go over um, the the, the uh, basic operation of the pedal commander. Again, this yellow button in the middle allow us to access uh, the different modes. This turns it off. Hold it down. Eco mode um, is engaged. Press it again. It turns it off. Press it again. City mode, sport mode, sport plus. Once the mode is selected, you, again, you have the option to select how aggressive you want the response to be uh, in each of the respective modes. So I'm gonna go ahead and take her out. I'm gonna test the different modes and then I will, will report back in on my experience. In fact, I might just go ahead and attach the camera to the bike and then, and then um, uh, record some of my uh, experience with the different modes. Now um, I'm on the Canon after the modification, I mean after the installation of the, the new mod, the Pedal Commander. Now this Pedal Commander is phenomenal. My initial response to this uh, to the experience was shocking to say the least um, a little bit frightening at first so with the regular I've been riding the Canon for several months now uh, about eight almost a thousand miles on it and um, of course my uh, muscle memory I, I'm used to how it responds when you apply the throttle. You know, it's um, it's not sluggish. It's no slouch. Um, but now that I've, that I've experienced a little bit the pedal commander, I could tell that there is a, a bit of lag in the default factory setting. So what happened was I pulled out of the garage and um, I went for a little ride just to see initially how this thing felt. And at first I rode with the normal regular default setting. And then I was about to turn around and I went ahead and put it in Sport Plus. For whatever reason I put it in Sport Plus. And I twist the throttle with the same muscle memory or the same amount of um, force that I would normally do it and it almost literally threw me off the bike off the cannon this has literally completely transformed this bike this bike is if you're not careful it can be scary responsive for me, uh, I tried uh, city mode is, is um, so yeah, let's go with city. City mode first is a little bit more uh, responsive than just a regular um, Can-Am setting, I would think, the default factory setting. Um, you know, you're in the city, it doesn't, it's no, it's no, it's not, it's no slouch, but it doesn't overwhelm you with acceleration uh, responsiveness you know it's um, it is very very smooth very deliberate you know but 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 frisky if, if it needs to be and of course with city mode you have you know several different sensitivity uh, level that can be tuned as well and then I went to sport mode sport mode is tremendously sharp in my opinion, in terms of how quickly the throttle responds. And the Can-Am literally accelerates. I mean, I don't want to put it on no level uh, as, a, as a sport bike or anything like that, but the acceleration is day and night from the default factory setting. This is literally hundreds of times more fun 
than it was before. I used to wonder about the Brembo brakes, the way the default factory system respond. Um, I've never been in a situation where the application of the brake felt a little bit iffy, so maybe the Brembo was perhaps overkill in my mind, is what I was thinking, of course not so much anymore. Because the acceleration is so good now with the throttle response system, this pedal commander, uh, especially in sport mode, that I find myself in one of the application of the throttle coming up to a braking event that the Brembo was actually getting a little bit of a workout trying to slow me down. This thing is literally amazing. I mean, I, <laughs> I, I can't stop talking about it. So I tried sport mode and of course there are different levels uh, in each mode and different level of responsiveness. So you could choose what suits you best for whatever situation you find yourselves in. Now if you go into the, if you're on the highway and you're cruising or whatever the case might be, eco mode might be great uh, for that situation. Um, save gas, you know, get you good mileage, that kind of stuff. If you, um, I mean, I, I, I don't know, there, there are so many different use cases for the different level of responsiveness. And I think it's, it's a little bit subjective also. Individuals would like different kinds of responsiveness with their Canon riding experience. And so it's up to you to tune which mode you like the best and, and ride and enjoy yourself um, with, this, with this tool. It's, it's just phenomenal. Um, one thing is that it remembers what setting you had um, last tuned before, uh, if you have to turn the bike off and then get back on it a little bit later. It remembers exactly what setting you had uh, before. Um, what else can I say about this, this um, throttle commander? I mean, I mean pedal commander. This. The responsiveness is mind-blowing, in my opinion, and I really haven't gotten on the highway with this thing yet to really see what it does. Yeah, it accelerates very, very quickly, um, and <laughs> I don't know what else to say about this stuff, except I am all green, grins, you know, green, grinning from ear to ear um, with this, um, with this this first mod, mod that I've applied to my uh, RT Limited. So I'm just riding around um, my little area here in, in, in North Fort Worth, uh, Keller, and um, enjoying it. I'm trying to see how it feels. Um, like I said, I haven't been on the highway yet, but uh, I will uh, within the next day or so and see what it feels like um, on the highway. Of course, if you don't like um, how sensitive the throttle response is, you could obviously choose a mode that is less aggressive. And even within that mode, you can choose or fine tune it to um, something that is not so aggressive in that specific mode. Or you could just simply turn the pedal commander off, at which point it will bypass any one of the modes and hand over to you again the default um, factory setting. Um, this uh, this is an amazing toy. Uh, this motorcycle here, this can -Am. and you know, with the way the world the world is going right now, it, it's, it's, there is so much opportunity to get stressed out and to get carried away and take life so seriously that you fail to to enjoy you know the the moments in each day and so for me the Canon RT Limited is an opportunity to disconnect from the work events from working and to get out and have some fun and the different modification allow me to experience this uh, vehicle on a different plane on a different level and maybe I'm maybe this video is a little bit too long to to explain you know what's going on with the the uh, pedal commander but I'm just really excited about this this device and I'm looking forward to enjoy it more and more 
um, each day. Maybe continue to to check, uh, try different settings, and fine tune whatever it is that I'm going to end up settling on. I've given Sport Plus a try. Sport Plus is insane, I think. Um, and so for now, I think Sport um, level between level three and four on the Sport uh, mode will be. Uh, the sweet spot for me for now um, that's more than enough for for me and for my enjoyment um, yes 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 I'm looking forward to the other mods that I have come in um, for this can of uh, motorcycle or trike or whatever um, it, it is all I know is I'm having a good time living my best life and hopefully sharing some of my experiences with my Can-Am will perhaps allow other people to take a chance and either get one if they don't if you don't have one yet or get some of these mods to you know, experiences on a different level. And um, this uh, commander is indeed a whole different level, a whole different experience for me in this uh, canon. So, thank you guys for tuning in again. Um, if you like the content, please give me a thumbs up. Share the video if there are anyone else that you know that may be interested in the content. And um, subscribe if you haven't already uh, done so. And um, at this point right here, I think I came out a little bit too far. I was about to go and realize someone was coming that was a little bit closer than I, uh, I thought he was. So I had to back up a little bit. Um, but anyway, uh, like, share, subscribe, and I will place the link uh, in this video to the Sling Mod website where the installation video for the Pedal Commander is located. And um, all subsequent uh, video that I create that has something to do with the installation of a mod, I will link whatever video I use to, to install the modification so that those of you interested in doing the same can just uh, reference that video for your own um, installation instructions. But um, again, thank you for tuning in and if I was a little bit uh, uh, wordy, verbose, or long-winded in this video, I humbly apologize. I'm just excited about experience in this phase of my life and I want to make sure I experience and enjoy every single moment. Alright, thank you very much and I will see you again in the next video.